A few years after the First World War, two colleges were founded in India. They were called, after their founder, King George's Royal Indian Military Colleges. Their purpose was to provide the sons of Indian soldiers with two things, a sound education and a spirit of leadership. Those colleges are still in being. They have turned out great leaders, and every new day sees more leaders in the making. sleep out of doors in the quadrangle as long as the weather permits. The day starts with a wash and a cold shower. PT follows. There are different classes for the various ages and the instructors are drawn from the cadets themselves. have been brought in from the quadrangle. Each cadet makes his own bed and is responsible for the tidiness of his kit. It's never too early to learn that the welfare of society depends on the behaviour and habits of the individual. Cadets are taught this from the day of enrolment. The senior cadet takes one last critical look at the barrack room. He is satisfied. And now it's time for breakfast. After breakfast comes the inspection by the cadet officers. All officers are drawn from the cadets. By running their own college, they gain experience in the proper use of authority. At five minutes to nine, an inspection parade is taken by the senior cadet officer. Smartest cadet on parade, a coveted distinction. Older cadets have a weapon training period every week. These are eagerly looked forward to. Another weekly feature is not quite so popular, the parade ground. Following the custom of the colleges, this parade is taken by the senior cadet. A part of the day is devoted to education. Here's a class left. food and plenty of it is the rule at the military colleges. A rest after meals is good for digestion, so Tiffin is followed by a period of compulsory relaxation. afternoon is devoted to sports. Hockey is the most popular. Matches are arranged by the cadets themselves. This one is with a sister college. Hockey or swimming, all sport is voluntary, but these boys don't need much compulsion.
sun goes down and it Work and sport for the day are over. Now's the time for quiet recreation. But not for the duty cadet officer. Bedtime comes. It's ten o'clock. Two hours later in the officer's lines, the duty cadet officer prepares to go on his final round. The beds are outside in the quadrangle once more. Another day is over. After their work and play, the leaders of tomorrow sleep, as in that same college, once worked, played and slept, the leaders of today, left in of his regiment. Captain Hazur Ahmed Khan, who was mentioned in dispatches at Karen and won his military cross in Italy. Major Mohinder Singh, who won his military cross in North Africa. These leaders of today were educated at King George's Royal Indian Military Colleges. They were the sons of soldiers. The colleges still offer the same opportunities for the sons of India's fighting men to become the leaders of tomorrow.